Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh boy, somebody is in their mind about you here. I feel like somebody's being guided. Uh, they're starting to open up to their spirituality is the feeling that I'm getting. Um, they're broken hearted. There's a lot of talk about you also. You found the doorway to spirit here and you're out here having a victory. Um, you're the magician. You're manifesting whatever it is that you want in your new future. Um, a very powerful manifester here. Yeah, you've manifested, I feel, a lot of abundance. Definitely very tapped into the divine. And I feel like there's a group a group of feminine energies here that are talking about you. And it's making this person feel brokenhearted. Okay, this masculine is brokenhearted. I feel like they're all kinds of stressed out. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They're starting to be enlightened. I feel like whatever you're doing out here... Um, you're an earth angel, you know, the angel of balance. Um, you're the temperance angel here. Um, you're making this person a believer. Let's just say it like that. You're making this person a believer. And everything that they're hearing about you, it's making them feel, um, well, depending on what they're hearing, I feel like people are just talking about your success or there could be a group of feminines that are very envious and jealous of you. Um, the more this person hears, the more heartbreaking it is for them. I, I feel like just the mention of your name makes them feel bad because they want to be with you now. Their, their vibes are raising. They don't even feel the same about whatever group they're around. Yeah, there's a storm coming for that group. This masculine's about to speak their mind. They want to give you their heart. Yep, they're about to tell the whoever this is, the this these feminine energies, it's over. I feel like they're with they're with a karmic, I feel, a dark feminine energy. With and, they, and this feminine has two friends around them, at least two. There may be more. It's a whole community that's talking about you collective. And it's driving this person crazy just at the mention of your name. Um, yeah, you're, you're leaving this behind right now. You're walking away. I do see you kind of wondering, is your person going to show up or not? As you walk away, you know, um, because you made it through this garden gate here. Are they going to show up or not? Because this, it could be, um, a contracted soulmate, like, uh, um, a soul contract, right? Um, Past life soulmate connection, twin flame, divine feminine, divine masculine, because you're definitely a divine being here with the temperance angel and your victory, and you're finding the doorway to spirit. This person's having an awakening and enlightenment. You're raising their, you're helping to raise this person's vibrations. Um, yeah, I feel like you're wondering if your partner, if your soulmate is going to come with you on this journey or not, but. Here's the thing, if, if they if they take any more time, it's done. You're still walking away. You're you're walking away while you kind of take a look back over your shoulder. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you could be making a house move, location change. You could even be going on a vacation. But this is like you're starting a whole new cycle, okay? This is like the fool card, the journey, right? Um I feel like, yeah, like my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. Yeah, you're, um, you're leaving. You're leaving this connection behind. And this person, they're just about to tell the karmic. They're going to speak their mind here with this throat chakra open. And it's going to cause a huge storm in the background, okay? When this person speaks their mind and they tell this karmic that they, their heart belongs to somebody else, you, the one that they can't stop focusing on, the one that they can't stop thinking about, okay, the one that they're obsessing over, talking about, gossiping about, it's going to cause a huge storm. Like, there's going to be a fight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pop off. It's going to go down, okay? 
It's going to cause a huge karmic storm here at the end. Look, and we've got a 10 here at the end of the cycle. And with a 9, your person is almost almost to the point where they're breaking free. They, they Honestly, their vibes, they're not vibing at the same level anymore. Okay? They're not. They're opening their mind, their heart, their soul to spirit. And it's instantly raising their vibes. So it's not going to work with the karmic situation anymore anyway. This person's already, they're already starting to heal from it before they even um, speak up. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah, I feel like this person's choosing a new path here. They've been indecisive, um, but now I feel like they know what they want. And they're about to tell their karmic partner. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I feel like this person is already in the process of healing from it. You know? So, yeah, that situation is over. They can't keep being all up wrapped up in their head about you anymore. Like... And they definitely don't want you to get away and, and be with anybody else either. Um, so, yeah, they see you out here. I feel like you already have the victory here because this person, their heart already belongs to you. And I feel like you don't even realize it. You're, you don't, you're not even aware of it yet. All of this is happening behind the scenes. All right, what else can you show me here? And you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's what I have out here so far. All right, what else can you show me for the collective? You could be an Aries, Virgo. Yeah, look at you. And you've got the door to value. So you're very spiritual, and I feel like um, listening to the messages, surrendering to, your, uh, to the divine, I feel like the divine has brought you to a lot of abundance. If you haven't noticed your money on the rise and your business growing and, um, you know, more money coming in, flowing in, it's about to just flow into you, okay? It's about to just flow. Um, yeah. Okay. They're leading me to tell you a story about myself real quick. Um, uh, uh, the law of attraction, right? What you think about comes into reality. It becomes your reality, okay? If you're thinking to your, especially when it comes to money, if you're thinking, you know, money's always tight with me, right? I always have too many bills. Oh, you know, um, I never have enough money to pay. I'm not going to have enough, right? That kind of thing. That's what you're going to have is not enough, okay? But if you tell yourself, you know what? When I go out to the mailbox, I'm going to see, I'm going to have more money being sent to me than bills. Okay? I am open to receive. It's my time to receive now. So I don't feel bad about it or guilty. I'm just going to receive, right? Um, bring me my blessings, universe, you know? If you remain positive and you focus on what you want to come in for you, it will come in for you. You've got to retain the focus, and you've got to, um, you've got to imagine yourself already having it. Now, when it comes to my situation, I told myself the same thing. You know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to start receiving money. Bring it on it, right? I'm going to just bring it on. Bring on whatever you want, you know. I'm receiving. I'm in a receiving mood. Um, the next day, I received $1,500. Just kind of out of the blue. Um, the day after that, I got another, I don't know, somebody, I don't know if it was paying me back for something, but another $100. I mean, it's, it, it will start coming to you if, you if you imagine yourself getting it. If you know the hard times are over and you believe, like, just like you're making this person a believer, you got to be a believer too. If you believe that this that money's going to come and your abundance is going to come and your days of struggle are over um, and you truly like focus on that, 
right? The positive. That's what you're going to manifest in your life. You guys can Google it. Please Google it. It's called the Law of Attraction, okay? Please Google it. You know, I, I don't need to back myself up. Um, it's out there, okay? And I didn't make it up. So, um, yeah, I'm being told to tell you that, you know, I, I feel like just as this person is becoming a believer and you're making a, a believer, you have to believe in yourself too. And you have to manifest and believe that the positive things are going to be coming to you. Don't focus on the negative because then all you're going to get is negative things. You know? If you, if you say to yourself every day, all I ever have is a struggle, that's all you're ever going to have. But if you say to yourself every day when you get out of bed, you know what, today's going to be a great day. I'm going to conquer this day. I'm going to see a lot of money coming to me. Something's going to be given to me as a gift today. I know it. You know what? Look it up. Google it. The Law of Attraction. Okay. But anyway, now this person can see somehow or they're hearing through the community and gossip, okay, that you're becoming very abundant. That door to value is opening up. And when we talk about value, it's not just money. They see the value in you. I feel like, like at one point they may have underestimated you. They didn't know um, your value. They didn't know your worth. They sure as heck do now. They sure do now, but now it may be too late because you've already, you're already walking away and starting a new cycle, okay? And here they come a-chasing. I can't make it up. They're going to end things with this karmic. It's about to happen. It's about to go down, and it's going to cause a massive karmic storm, okay? It's, there's going to be a huge fight, huge, but they're going to get through it. Okay, because this person, that heart there, that heart, I feel like um, it beats for you. Okay, and they can't, they can't hold back how they feel anymore. All right, so yeah, once they end it, this person's choosing a new path and they're going to be coming chasing after you. Okay. But, yeah, like I said, it could be too late for this person. Um, I'm really feeling like you have already started receiving, okay? Receiving things and blessings and because um, you're out here having a victory, okay? And you're, I know you're a light worker, earth angel, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Yeah, look, this person's taking action, man, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. With the um, with the root chakra and the action card, yeah, yes, no doubt about it. Um, for whoever this is for, right? Yeah, they're definitely, and it's like they're right behind you. I just heard a crow outside the window, and that, that scared me. I feel like this is going to startle you. This is going to startle you. You're, you're not expecting to see this person when they show up. It's going to be like, oh, you know. Um, yeah. So they're coming forward here to talk. Um, yeah, and strategy keeps coming on the bottom of the deck. So I know this person is making a plan. They're trying to figure out as they come towards you, they're trying to figure out what they're going to say. How are they going to get you back? You know, they just want you back, collective. So they're trying to plan this, maybe thinking about what they're going to say. They could be rehearsing what they say, um, you know, that kind of thing, right? Practicing what they're going to say, that kind of thing. All right, how is this person feeling about the collective? Yeah, but you definitely are making this person a believer. You're enlightening them, opening their eyes, their heart, their soul, their mind. Um, yeah, and they are, they've got such a tremendous pull, um, with this connection. It, they're, they're on their way. They're on their way. They're, yeah, this is that strategy, trying to think of a creative way to express themselves to you, okay? 
that's what they're doing. They're strategizing. Yeah, because you know what? This depression and this funk that they're in without you is driving them bonkers. So is all of the gossip. Everything seems to be irritating this person because uh, they're so sad without you. They don't want to be without you. They feel like they're in darkness without you, okay? So they're irritated kind of by everything. But man, see, look, I'm telling you, inspired. But you have inspired this person. They're picking up on the messages. They're hearing messages through music. They're they're seeing it in cloud formations, you know. Um, yeah, I feel like they're they're getting it. Their their intuition is awake now. Okay, and um, yeah, they could even be. Maybe that's part of their strategy is to write you a letter. This person could even, if they're into music, they could write you a song a poem, something like that. Um, this person could be a writer. That could be a skill that they're just realizing now, that they're being led to possibly be a writer and eventually someday write a story that could change things for people, you know? This is somebody here. Um, this is like King of Pentacles energy, right? Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is somebody here who may have a manual job because look at how dirty their fingers are. This is a really hard worker here. I feel like this is somebody who wants to put in the effort too. And this is somebody who is, I feel like after all of this, um, they're going to they're gonna want to wife you up, collective, if you, if you give this person a second chance. But I feel like when it comes to being inspired on for what their calling is, okay, I feel like this person has some major talent when it comes to writing or music, and they aren't aware of it because all they've done, all they've had is like hard, tough jobs, you know. Um, so, yeah, they're being called, I feel, to start a project. And, they're, you know, here's the thing that... Whoever they're with, I saw resentment on the bottom of the deck. Whoever they're with is very upset about that um, because uh, this person is changing. You know, they're realizing their spirituality and their and their power and potency and um, and their abilities and their vibes are raising and they're they're becoming spiritual. You know, they're changing. And the karmic, whoever they're with, is they hate that. They don't want that to happen. And I feel like they're resentful. Um, they're trying to slow down this person's progress, their change. What else can you show me here for the collective? Yeah, but they are freeing themselves, themselves from that, okay? Um, like I said... The, they're not even on the same page anymore, those two. They're not vibing at the same level anymore, okay? Um, so, yeah, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. And I feel like this person is freeing themselves from that situation because they know they don't belong there. But look at financial constraints. I feel like um, they're having some financial issues as well. All right, so what does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say to the collective? Ooh, that was way too many. I don't react when people mention you. They may not react when people mention you, but like I said, people are talking about you, Collective, and just the mention of your name, it irritates them. It's driving them kind of crazy. Um, yeah, you speak to me through music. They're picking up signs, synchronicities through music and the lyrics, you know. Um, letting you down was the worst decision I made. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, they're about to have a major shakeup. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you so much. I wish I could take back my words. I see you in the face of strangers. You were always with me. I'm in love with you, and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a life with you, a beautiful life with you. Yeah, they're, they're coming. They're ready to take action. Um, 
I saw the action card in here, but yeah, they, uh, they do want to reunite. They want to build something wonderful with you, but it's up to you, Collective. The ball's going to be in your court. I feel like now, right now, at this current time, you are breaking free, um, detaching, disconnecting, releasing, and moving forward. And you're being called to, to keep moving forward. Um, but that pull, you know, that pull of, the, of your connection, it's like a rubber band. It can only stretch so far. And then it's going to snap back. And that's what's happening here. Your person's coming back, just like the snap of a rubber band. Okay? And, okay.